Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another tropical franchise mode episode where we, in the previous episode, built an awesome chimpanzee habitat with indoor area and overpass in Monkey World next to the amazing gorilla habitat that we built earlier during this series. And our progress in the zoo may be slow, but I am confident that we will continue continue working on this tropical franchise series until this whole zoo is completely finished because obviously we are just way too far in to call it a day with this zoo and I am just enjoying myself too much still in this beautiful tropical franchise mode series. So yeah, right over here we have the chimpanzee habitat which I am super happy with still. I think it looks absolutely awesome what we did right over here. And like I was just looking at the overview of the map that we have going on right over here. And we actually don't have that much space left to add some animals. Well, we do have some space left. Like I think maybe one or two habitats here, maybe even a West African lion right over here. Going to add one more primate or monkey in this area to completely finish our monkey roll that we have going on right over here. I think we can add like maybe one or two South American animals in here. And then right over here, we have one spot left for an Asian animal. Maybe one over here as well. I actually don't think we will be adding anything else right over here. Oh yes, and that's right. We also still need to add like a platypus habitat in our Australian area. But yeah, I mean, come on, you guys. We're obviously not going to complete this series while we are this far in completing this beautiful tropical franchise zoo but uh yeah let's have a quick look right over here feeding station cannot be reached by the keeper so what do we have right over here we have where is that feeding station oh that's this one can i seriously not reach that one like the animals can reach it but for some reason, our staff is not able... Wait, we need to click you not being in a habitat. So now we can check the staff traversal... <laughs> Wait, what? <gasps> oh my goodness, that's right. <gasps> oh gosh, I need to quickly make sure that they are able to actually... like. Ugh, we have like this whole cheating area because we do not have enough space for these guys. And now if we check the staff reversal area, ah, oh, there we go. Okay, that, that may have been just a little error on my side. There is food right over here. We have a feeding plate inside. And other than that, well, they are not able to reach the other side. But I, I do know that a lot of people keep asking me, like, if you do these kind of things and the keeper is not able to reach it, do you not have any problems with cleaning and such? But you don't. So you don't have to worry about that. Like, poop will just vanish into the ground and I think that's definitely also Frontier helping us creative people to make sure that we are able to still build like fun and creative habitats which um, yeah are not able to reach be reached by the keeper itself so we don't have to worry about that what do we have right over here dangerous fighting that is also in this habitat and why is that oh look we actually forgot we should get another female. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> here is Siamang. <Cyamang. gasps> no, oh, we need a female in here. So we do have the conservation credit. So I'm just going to adopt this one from the Frontier Zoo. I think this should already fix it. So how is our staff doing right now? We have some vet research. We are doing research. Look at that. We have the Lar Gibbon. And are we also doing any research for the chimpanzees? I actually wonder. No, we are not. So we might just want to put you up to do some research right over there. We are doing advanced research on the Asian small clot otter and the Bengal tiger. We already have a keeper in the chimpanzee habitat. So we don't have to worry about that. Do we want to train some people right over here? You know what? 
I am going to train our vets. I'm also going to train our keepers or at least anyone that is able to be trained still. And shall we also do that with the educators? Yes, let's just do that. So what do I hear? I, I hear a lot of snoring. <laughs> Did you guys hear that as well? I really thought like, oh my goodness. What is that noise? But these guys actually snore quite loud. Tell me in the comments down below if you guys can hear it. They're all just chilling inside of here. I absolutely love that. And I just really like this little education area right over here with the little shop. And look, that one is also going to lie down probably. I love that. Also that they're not like on the outside sleeping right over here. They're really only using the hay battings. That's just fantastic. All right, let's just quickly have a look at the rest of our zoo. Oh, look. Oh, you're so adorable. Oh, what, what was that? Oh my goodness, a flying wallaby? You kidding me? What was that? <laughs> but it did work out. They are expecting offspring. Uh, we have, oh, oh look. Well, we have another try here. <laughs> That's really adorable, by the way, that little sniffing animation. But, uh, okay, we were too late. <laughs> we already got some inbreeding in here, which is not really the best thing, but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, so they are getting food. What else do we have? We have protesters because of the binturong. Now what? Did any of the binturongs maybe grew up and now, like, the space is, like, just terrible in here or something? I mean, yes, okay, it is a space issue. <sighs> okay, yes, we do not have any babies in here at all. We have an outsider with overpopulation. Okay, wait, this is an elderly. Is Mentari? You are infertile, so maybe we should. Okay, I'm going to select these two, but these guys are probably family from each other. Oh, wait, you know what? We're actually going to rehome you and I want to have a young female and I do want to have the highest ranking possible in here. So, and then I'm going to select the highest appeal, which is Pertui. Oh, Pertui is pretty old already. So I actually, oh, this is not our own Binturong. You know what? This is a golden rating. So I think Inten is the best one to keep and then put the rest up for adoption. There's one male, not going to be picky, <laughs> just going to pick you. And I'm going to put you into this binturong habitat. So we got this sorted. I will make sure to put all these binturongs in the training center up for adoption later on. This all seemed to run very fine in the end. Oh goodness, we have so much fighting going on. Common wombats. Did you guys already grow up as well? Oh, that is going... Oh, no. Okay. Putting you up in the training center as well. We already have a little baby in here now. A new one. Gosh, look at this little face. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, my goodness. Aren't we just super lucky to see all these little cute animations in here? Oh, I absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, that was so adorable. All right, okay, so we fixed that. Oh gosh, we have more wallabies inbreeding here. Should we just make sure that we give these guys some contraceptives? I mean, how many do we have in here? Uh, we have four, uh, 14 in total. Let's just make sure, sure to give these guys contraceptives so there won't be any more inbreeding in here. I mean, 14 wallabies. Oh, look, it's quite busy here. In this habitat, I think it's totally fine. I love this habitat. Like, it's super simple, but like with the rock work and the grass and stuff, or, like a simple shelter, it does look super nice still. Like, it doesn't always have to be a super duper interesting habitat. It's about to have osprey. Oh, shall we check? What are you floating? What is going on there? <gasps> oh, 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 can you stop and just give that offspring? I mean, we want to see that little Joey coming out of your pouch. 
<laughs> oh yeah, just go and have, have some food. Are we really not going to see that? Oh, you guys are being fed. Isn't that like a coincidence? Or did they just went to this feeder already because... Oh, look! Because they knew they were about to get food? I'm not sure. How do you guys feel about that? It did like feel like... <laughs> gosh. It did feel like they were already heading here because they knew they were about to get food. But I'm not entirely sure if this was a coincidence. Have you guys seen that more often? Do let me know in the comments down below. We have still more fighting in here. So maybe, did I do anything wrong? I thought it would be like four by four. You know, it could actually be that they are just fighting because... Or maybe I did... Oh, oh, you know, maybe, maybe I did do something wrong here. No, I didn't do... Anything but females and males. Alpha male gets pick, uh, first pick of a female partner, while some males may keep their chosen females away from the other males because... Okay, it's all right. It's all right. We just let them do their thing. Maybe they are fighting for alpha status or they are fighting because of the, the female. Absolutely love it if that is the case and if that is the reason why things are happening in here. Okay, we have one giant anteater that is stressed here as well. Why was that actually? Okay, you are just stressed because of all of the guests that are walking here. They're pretty far away though, but I guess you are more sensitive to noises that they make. Can we maybe help? with a do not disturb sign here. I actually don't know if we already have these. Security and crime, we don't have them. So we can help a little bit in here just by adding a few of these signs in here. I think this should already cover it and make sure that the gas will be a little bit more quiet when uh, walking around at this giant anteater habitat that we build, like a temple giant anteater habitat. All right, enough talking. We need to add another animal in this uh, episode because obviously that's what we mostly do with our episodes. So I was just thinking, like, let's just make sure to wrap up this area right over here with the uh, monkey world and primates. So I was thinking to add the bonobo because we are here in the African region and it's been quite some time since we actually built a habitat for the bonobos. So how many can we have? Okay, so it's again uh, uh, one female, one male, and then we can have like a minimum of four. How big? <laughs> because that is probably going to be an issue. They need quite some space as well. That's the only downside with these animals. So 930 square meters and 170 climbing frame needs. And I think I'm actually not going to make it a lot bigger because we are going to squeeze it in. We're going to remove this staff path and then we're going to squeeze it in uh, around here. And then we're going to close this off. We might, as I just said, like we might want to have like a a path here going at the back of this habitat or maybe we can have another viewing gallery on that side and then like close this off with like a, a big lion habitat or something like that. I don't know, I just feel like we are missing out on a lot of big cats in the zoo and we do have the, oh yes, the beautiful Bengal tigers in here with the, the tiger temple, which, where was that again? Oh, that's right over here. Oh, look. Oh, they're actually using it again. We're so lucky today. Oh, man, I love it. Anyways, yes, okay, we've seen that one. <laughs> but do let me know in the comments down below if you like that idea to, to have these big cats in here. Uh, but yeah, now without further talking, let's go and build that habitat for the bonobos right over here.
And there we have it, an elevated tree top enclosure for the bonobos. And I actually did add two more bonobos in here because I did have enough space for that. But look at this. So this is obviously one-sided glass to make sure that the bonobos do have some privacy. But they will use this, hopefully, <laughs> as a little bit of a shelter when they're going to take a nap. Like, this is the only spot in the habitat that they have hay beddings. And they, ha they have, like, these, these, these treetops where they can climb and, and have different elevations here for them to, to, to jump on and climb on as well. We have a little ladder right over here. Well, you're not using it. <laughs> you're using the vines. But look, 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 look. It works exactly how I want it to be. Added some toys here and there to make sure that obviously they will be um, moving around through this habitat. Yes, just grab the toy and go and play around with it. So the only downside is that uh, there is a feeder right over here, which is for like the uh, uh, enrichment bonus but they're not able to be fed outside. So this one is more here for decorational purposes because unfortunately the staff member, yes, okay, <laughs> this is the backside. Don't look at it, don't look at it. But the staff member is not able to walk here, unfortunately. I don't know, this is probably too small. I, I really hope Frontier will change something about that. But I think it's just a super cool habitat. It's, it's pretty tropical and lush. Uh, like resembling like the the forest these guys live in if I'm correct the tropical vibe they have in Africa and it just works super well for all the climbing need that they have to make everything look interesting and fun they are able to use this one so that is just super awesome are you going to use that are you are you not I think you are yes do it <laughs> Look at that smile on his face. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Taking way too long. Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's so happy. <laughs> okay, so that works like a charm. We have some toys right over here. We have an ice block in here as well to make sure that these uh, bonobos are being attracted to the front right over here because we obviously want to avoid that the guests are complaining about the view from the bonobo habitat. Really do like how this has turned out. Also the outside here, uh, you can call it a little bit more modern if you will. I uh, did try to hide a little bit of the blocks later on with these mural walls because I found them a little bit too obvious. Also adding like these wooden beams around here to make it less the, the blocky plaster pieces. And I think it works super well with like the green on the roof here in an angle. We have some integrated educational signs right over there or conservation signs, I should say. There are education signs in here as well. So we did hide them. Can I, how can we see that? It's the education. Yes, okay, here we go. I did hide them right over here. So I'm assuming that the guests can see it, can read it. But yes, I, I think they are, or are they pretending to look into the habitat? I'm not entirely sure. This lady is not happy at all, by the way. But yeah, there is tons of education right over here. But I just didn't know where to really hide the educational signs. I had these educational pillars from the exhibits, but uh, uh, no, uh, I deleted them in the end. So uh, this is, I think, a perfect habitat for these guys. Also from the top, I think it looks really nice. I wanted to make sure to have like an extra path right over here, because obviously if you would have like this one looking into the chimpanzees, and then have right away the habitat for the bonobos. It might become way too busy right over here. So having this in two different sections works a lot better to avoid any bottlenecks. Also added these chimpanzee signs right over here because they look so good. I really wish we had so many more statues and also for the bonobos, we just don't have any statues, unfortunately. 
So that is quite a pity. But man, am I happy with this habitat. So as I said, like, I, I think I want to extend this area. I think we're going to have the Red River Hog right over here and then extend this area a little bit more to the back. I feel like maybe... Oh, shoot. We actually did not connect this path, which we should de definitely do. But I think like there is still a lot of space left inside of this building. So the bonobos are right over here. <laughs> this is not for guest views. Maybe I will change my mind. Maybe if we have like a path on this side as well, we, we could integrate it or something like that. But for now, it's like, yeah, only functioning for a backstage area. But if we will have maybe the lions or something here, they could have maybe this particular area as their backstage area. We do need to make sure that we then have like maybe some kind of tunnel or like an overpass or anything like that, because I, I don't really think that this is going to work uh, if I want to have the lion indoor area right over here and I have the habitat right over there. We, we do have to play around with that a little bit, but th those are fun and challenging things. So I'm not too worried about that. And uh, yeah, let's face it. I think it looks really good to have like these, these big buildings in your zoo. Like we don't have that many. We, we don't have any at all, like, apart from the barn, which is quite big. But it, oh, and yes, and the butterfly dome, of course. But other than that, I think it looks really good from the top as well. Not that any of the guests will see that, but it gives that part of realism, even though it's not like super functioning on the inside. But super happy with how this uh, has turned out. Also with these little bridges right over here, because I, I, I think this is the first time I'm actually using them. And the bonobos are just using it all. They're able to climb down. Don't ask how. I mean, <laughs> it looks ridiculous how they get down with the tree. But they do. And yes, they have water right over here. So they can. Look how awesome this looks. Yeah, I'm so happy with how this is looking. And uh, I, I just really wanted to make sure there was like this natural water flow here for them to, to be able to drink from. And maybe in real life they would actually and then you would have to add like another extra safety fence or anything like that to make sure that they're not able to climb over there but it works super well so i'm definitely not complaining but if they would like maybe just turn off the climbing frame needs or the climbing frame option for a few of these branches or something like that okay let's quickly check the water coverage Water treatment. Oh, <laughs> I'm happy I'm checking because we don't have a good water coverage right over here. Uh, now I did hide an electricity uh, transformer. What is it called? A transformer right in here in the rocks. I might want to do that as well and just add this one right over here next to it because I think we should be good if we do that. Look, it's all the way hidden over there, so I'm just gonna add some rocks to it. And now if we check the map again, look, it's all covered. So it's the perfect spot, just gonna put it down right over there and everything should be good and covered and we won't get any messages that this water is not clean or anything like that. But man, yes, do I am happy with this habitat. I think it looks awesome. I do wish that we had like... Uh, I didn't want to go for all these vines, but I started with some ropes and then I realized like, ah, oh, but I don't have like these bigger ones. So let's just go for vines instead. And it doesn't look bad. I just, I don't know, for, for primate habitats, I just would love to use actual ropes in different sizes and stuff. But, ooh, oh, 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 <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. That was me. My bad. I'm so sorry. But yeah super happy with how this is looking so hopefully you guys like this as well it's all nicely connected now also with this habitat and we have a nice connection now here <gasps> what why do we have protesters wait what why what 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 is going on why are they uh, not happy 
social space, social space, terrain. Oh my goodness, it's just a climate frame. Stop that. This should be good, right? <laughs> How are you? So 85%. Oh my goodness, we actually had protesters in here, but they should be going now. That should be good. But I really do love how this whole area has turned out. I think it looks absolutely awesome. We have the gorillas. The gorillas are doing well, right? Do they? Oh, no. <laughs> no, they're not. Is that the same thing? Oh, my goodness. When, oh, when are they going to fix these problems in here? Because that is so frustrating. Okay, so this should also be fixed right now. The Western champs are still fighting for that alpha status. Now, let me know in the comments down below if I am doing anything wrong or do I just let them go and fight for that alpha status and then afterwards all should be good. Do we not have any water in here? I did add one in here, right? Yes, there is one in the corner. So you should just go here and have a little drink because is the rest also thirsty can we see that if we just click on the habitat and check the overview uh you are hungry well hungry uh, food is right over here okay no i i think they're all good yes they're all eating there's no thirsty messages whatsoever so they should just go outside because that is how we planned this to make sure that they're going inside and outside and people will enjoy this exactly this walking through the overpass which is just super amazing absolutely love it so yeah guys do let me know in the comments down below what you all think of the finish of our monkey world. I am really excited about this area. I think it looks absolutely awesome. But obviously, would love to hear your thoughts about it as well. I'm sorry for the rain. I can't stand the rain, but it is what it is. Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.